Heads up, while most of my content is family friendly and suitable for all ages, Phoenix Wright Trials and Tribulations is a game that has been rated T by the ESRB rating system, and as such the videos in this Let's Play are likely to contain mild blood and or violence possibly at the same time. So viewer discretion is advised. Hey everyone, welcome back to Miles Edgeworth Trials and Tribulations. Uh, 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 Phoenix Wright Trials and Tribulations. Phoenix Wright's in the hospital. So, after that very long first episode, we're probably going to get him back to around a half hour in terms mm -hmm. of length. Because at least the rest of the investigation is a bit more grounded and less like, Oh, this happens, and then this happens. Oh. But we're playing as Edgeworth now, which is great. It's fun. And for some reason, Phoenix is like, oh yeah, I want you to defend this girl who's almost certainly Dahlia. Yeah. It's like, I mean, she's probably the killer, right? She probably could be. No, we were going to move. There was nothing yeah. to do. Yeah, I, I was. we examined the camera already. Yeah, we examined everything. Uh-oh. Looks like we're not going to cross the bridge anytime soon. February 8th, Dusky Bridge. Sure, it's cold, all right. So, this is it. Dusky Bridge. Ahem! <coughs> uh, Mr. Edgeworth! Uh, Detective Gumshoe. Long time no see! It's been about a year? Or has it been longer? It doesn't matter, Detective. What does it matter? Uh, what does matter is why you're shuffling around up here. Oh, ouch! There was a sharp left jab. Well, I'm happy to see you anyway, Mr. Edgeworth. Let me guess, you were transferred into another section at work. A good choice. The vast amount of nothing up here must be quite easy to guard. I heard you were back in the country and arranged to come all the way out here. <laughs> Everybody was real nice. They even let me take charge of the investigation, sir. Gumshoe indeed. Like gum on your shoe, he's impossible to get rid of. Oh my gosh. I'm supposed to report on the details of the crime scene, sir. Anyway, here I am, Detective Dick Gumshoe, reporting for duty. Great. Um... Thank you, Detective. I thought Prosecutor Godot was gonna get here before me. That guy's a real mystery, I tell ya. Prosecutor Godot? There's nothing <laughs> funnier than watching- I mean, nobody else can, but watching your face because, like, it's like you take on each character. Like, <laughs> yeah. like you've got, like, a big old smile, and then, like, Edgeworth, you're like, <sighs> Yeah. <laughs> like, which, I mean, you kind of have to do, but it's It's, it's unconscious, I'm not actually trying right. to do that. Right, right. I have the same thing that happens. I just got back into the country, so I don't really know much about this case. It's simple. Um. Well, simple is as simple does, as no, they it's say. Not. Oh, you've got no idea how much I've missed that biting sarcasm of yours, sir. But seriously, this one's a piece of cake. There's a witness that saw the whole thing. The whole thing. A witness? Yeah, that bikini lady. Bikini lady? Here on this freezing cold <laughs> mountain. <laughs> well, you should talk to her yourself if you want the details, sir. I may have to talk to this bikini lady. I mean, decisive witness myself. Alright then. So this is the bridge that Wright fell through? Yup, I can't imagine being that reckless myself. Look before you cross is how it goes, right? Or was that leap? And is there some something on the other side? Yeah, some old building they call the Inner Temple. But we can't get over there without a bridge, sir. What? Nobody lives there, so it's usually not a problem. But someone was at the Inner Temple doing some training, and now they're stuck there. Great! So Maya's stuck in the freezing cold. <sighs> yes, I heard from right. It's Maya Fey. Oh no, her again? Anyway, the air's really turbulent right now, and we can't do an aerial extraction. So no one's gonna be able to reach the Inner Temple until tomorrow, sir. Great! <laughs> Just great. She'll be fine. Will yup. She, will she be alright in this cold? So, how did this bridge burn down anyway? We're almost 100% sure it was lightning. Lightning? Well, that would make sense, I guess, because I was like, who would set fire to the bridge? Unless if it was uh, my initial thought, which is like, oh, the spiritual energy, like the <laughs> Avatar state. <laughs> and then, like, everything gets set on fire. Not everything is an anime. <laughs> yeah, but this could be like that. You're telling me the bridge caught on fire due to a fluke bolt of lightning? Yup, last night it snowed for the first time in three days. It's a little unusual for lightning to occur during a snowfall like that. But according to the weather data, lightning definitely struck. Well, thank you for that. Weather data added to the court record. Hmm, I see. This is a very detailed weather report. Almost too detailed. It even has the exact time that the lightning struck the bridge. Oh, that? We got that information from the witness's testimony. Someone actually saw the lightning hit the bridge? Who is this witness? 
Sorry. I'll go ask one of the local cops later, sir. <laughs> Thanks, Gotchu. So who is this Prosecutor Godot? I've never heard of him. Oh! Yeah, he's a new guy. Showed up after you left the country. He's a complete rookie, but nobody can say a bad word about the guy. How? He's lost every case he's been on. <laughs> uh, at least every case that we've done. He's probably had other cases, because as we know, Phoenix, Maybe. Phoenix Wright's kind of like a delinquent. He'll be like, well, it's been Too three long. months. Better I guess I'll get a new case. And like, <laughs> Godot only... <laughs> and Edgeworth are like, all right, week two. Here we go. Like, oh, well, it's been like two weeks. And all right, we're going to do another. Like, <laughs> they like yeah, the cash. What kind of a man is he? He just became a prosecutor recently, but he's good, sir. Real good. If he's so good, how is it that I've never heard of him? Oh, Edgeworth with the... Well, if, if he's... he's if that, I haven't all, heard of him, he can't be that. that. Yeah. <laughs> is he the lead prosecutor on this case? You bet he is. After all, you know who is right in the middle of it. You know who? Phoenix Wright, of course. For some reason, Godot really has it in for Mr. Wright. <laughs> Edgeworth's like... Great. <laughs> <laughs> oh? Yeah, he seems to have some kind of a grudge. And what would be the cause of this grudge? I dunno. Maybe he made fun of his mask or something. Hey, Not Godot! You suck! He's just like, <laughs> <laughs> like, has like a forever grudge. <laughs> None of this is making any sense. I'd better look into this Godot myself. Yeah. Hopefully we'll get to go back to his office and be like, yeah. ooh, ooh, and like yeah. look at all this so, um, stuff. When Luke Atme was first talking to us, and was like, Oh yes, Godot, the best boss could in the country. Mr. Edgeworth himself said so. He was just completely talking out of his butt. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. I'm sure. Huh? What's that thing doing on your lapel, Mr. Edgeworth? Is it really that odd? You bet it is, sir! A prosecutor wearing a defense attorney's badge? That's like a detective with a license to kill. Does this little thing hold that ominous of a meaning? I mean, most people don't even notice it. <laughs> Have you ever seen this fiend before? Hey, thanks a lot! I was getting kind of hungry! Chomp! What?! <laughs> <laughs> well, what are you doing, detective?! Ah! I thought it was some kind of candy that would fill me up, sir. Lately, I've been feeling so hungry all the time. Ugh, maybe his salary has been cut just a little too much? <laughs> yeah, I mean, you do it in every game, like, uh, multiple times. My. Look, I'm just your everyday simple detective who uh, tried to eat a magatama. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Don't ask me such tough questions, okay? That's not something to be proud of, detective. <laughs> uh, 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 Iris is hood. No. Nah, man. We could show him the... The, the yeah. oh cold New Year's... No. Aww. Maybe the weather oh, Weather date. data. Regional weather report of the night of the crime. Let's look at it. Eagle Mountain weather data for February 7th. Snow with occasional lightning strikes. Snow, 7 to approximately 10.50 p.m. Lightning, 10 to approximately 11 p.m. Lightning struck Dusky Bridge at 10.45, around 30 minutes past between the fires starting and going out. That is very detailed. That's like today if you were to open up the weather app on a phone and be like... Here's our weather forecast, ladies and gentlemen. Like, oh, it's is... gonna be a great weather forecast today here <laughs> in Legend of Korra. I was about to say, you have the very Legend of Korra. That's just like voice. the 50s. No, but that's same. very Legend of Korra. Yeah, I know. Voice. For the, um, oh my gosh, why can I not think of what they're called? The epic games that you hate that I love. Pro Bending! Pro Bending! <laughs> Pro Bending! Uh. There's a lot we don't know about this victim. We don't know her real name, her background. We don't know anything, really. Oh, it's like Enya. A little bit. Is or that like, Enya? No, but she... Uh, Is Enya the one that lives in, like, the Irish castle? Yeah, she's the one who lives in the Irish castle where it's like, nobody really knows her, nobody knows anything about her. Like, she just comes out of her castle every Christmas to, like, sing in her church and then, like, doesn't wow. do much. She sounds like me if I owned an a Irish bit. castle. Well, she's had kind of a crazy past, I guess. Nah. Yeah, I mean, hey. With with fans and stuff. Because they're... Yeah. No. So, that's why I don't want to be... That's one why, of the many reasons I yeah. don't want to be famous. She's also like, eh, being famous sucks. I'm just going to be in my own Irish castle now. I'm like, all right, <laughs> Ain't no you one going to infiltrate yeah. that. Yeah. That's why I won't do a face reveal. <laughs> yep. That's rather odd. If she was trying to hide her identity, why would she become an author? I'll bet it was just one of those feigns. You know. She probably never expected to get so popular. I mean, I could understand that. Yeah. Because that's usually when people on 
And actually, it could be YouTube. Mm. It could be like yeah. all singing, all these things. Daisy Ridley's like, now huge actor after being in Star Wars. Yup. But there's other people where it's like, oh, we put this video up on the internet, and we never expected anyone other than like our family to watch it. And yeah. then all of these people like saw it and they're like, oh, okay, our faces out it, there. It, it would be like if I woke up one day and it's just like, oh, yeah, I have two million subscribers. We <laughs> No, that not like that. It'd be more like, oh, this one video that you posted a week ago has like ten thousand views. You're like, that's weird. It would be poo preschool. <laughs> it would be. <laughs> oh, come on, you just gave I'm just me that. Everyday simple guy. Whenever something happens, this guy always shows up like he hasn't got a care. It's true. In fact, you know what? Every time he shows up, I always wonder the same thing. Maybe somehow he's actually the cause of all these incidents. I mean, they're all surrounding him. I wonder if or Gumshoe Larry. has realized it yet, but you could say the exact same thing about him. Yeah. <laughs> It's the same thing with Larry, though, and, and Maya. Like, anytime there's a Fae around, something terrible happens. It's kind of true. Which is really sad, but yeah. Your face is more drawn out than the last time I saw it over a year ago. R really? I thought so! No, wait. It's not so much drawn out as weary and tired, or maybe just plain old thin. I thought that too, sir. My salary's been kind of on the low end. So yeah, my food options have been kind of non-existent. Hey! <laughs> wow, jeez! That's why he was like, Magatama. <sighs> off-brand chicken soup, off-brand spaghetti, off-brand bread, that sort of stuff. I thought you were really into instant noodles last year. I got really sick of this stuff after a <laughs> while, sir. <laughs> yeah. Poor Gumshoe, jeez. I feel like if you were a police detective, you'd get paid a decent amount. Yeah. Maybe not in Japan or foreign. There's... It depends, I guess, on the region. I've heard some people who they're like dedicated to their job and they're just not getting the pay that they deserve. Oh uh, man. Um, which is terrible because they're literally serving our country or community and yeah. they're just like not getting paid enough, which stinks. But then there's others where it's like, I lifted my finger. I got paid ten hundred thousand yeah. dollars. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He's supposed to be Miss Elise Donham's apprentice or something. I see. Yeah, he drew a nice portrait of me. That's nice. But he made me pay him 50 cents for it. I'm sorry about that. That's it? I'm surprised. <laughs> it's a very painting. Yeah. <laughs> you don't seem very interested in him, Mr. Edgeworth. I really don't want to talk about him. That's why. <laughs> oh, wait, we, just, we already... We already yeah. checked out her. I, I presented her photo, not her, her profile. Out. Check her out. I feel like I've seen this girl somewhere before. She wasn't from a prior case, was she? Nope, can't be. We did a database search with her fingerprints that came up with nothing. Maybe she did what the old boat man did and just, he like, just burned his off. off his fingerprints. You can't burn your fingerprints off and put different <laughs> ones on. Tattoo? That's not how tattoos work! I know, work. I know. That's not how the force works! <laughs> well, but I did know somebody who got a tattoo of a QR code so that people could actually scan it. No, it was that still, is simultaneously even, even worse, awesome and really worse, stupid. It was, a, it was a Christian one where it was like, oh, you can scan my QR code and figure out my Christianity story, like come to Christ story. I'm like... I mean, honestly, for as far as tattoos go, that's not that bad. That's not that bad, but like... I thought it was going to be a QR code for the tattoo artist who gave him the tattoo. No, no. <laughs> I doubt it. But I was like, what happens if it stretches out? Does it no longer work? <laughs> <laughs> or, like, what if, like, you get an update for your phone and you can no longer scan it? <laughs> okay, if you have a tattoo, fine, good for you. I think tattoos are one I of the stupidest I things ever. I don't judge people for tattoos, but I don't think I would get one for myself. I just can't shake this nagging feeling. Well, everyone knows that you're quite popular with the ladies, sir. Maybe she's an old girlfriend that you sent to Dumpsville when you were younger. Wow! D detective! Where did you hear such nonsense from? I didn't hear it from anyone. It's just sort of how I imagine you to be, sir. Edgeworth would be the guy who <laughs> skips prom to do a case. <laughs> do I really inspire this sort of frothing desire from the female masses? Yes, you do, Edgeworth. Have you ever seen the female the fan female base? The female fan base? Ugh. I usually hear about promising young prosecutor candidates while well, they're still in school. But I've never seen or heard of this person. Really? I gotta admit, he's puzzling all right. He just appeared one day. Big mug of steam and coffee in his hand. Hmm. Hmm. He sounds like an interesting man. Yeah, the whole prosecutor's office is really into double espresso macchiatos lately. <laughs> interesting. <laughs> Ma no, maybe Godot's like curious. a bro 
<laughs> Maybe you could tell. It's like, hey, I'm the new prosecutor. They're like, who the bleep are you? I bought us an espresso machine. Okay. Okay. <laughs> no. I'm wondering, because he mentioned, like, oh, usually I see, like, prosecutors when they're still in school. I wonder if it's, like, um, when people try to go into, like, the entertainment media, could be, like, theater, could be for becoming a pop star, or, like, different things. You hear about them, and people have talent scouts going out. It could be for athletes, too. I wonder if they have that, at least in this universe, for, like, smart people. Where it's like, oh, you're really smart and you've already, like, taken on a court case at 16 because you skipped prom. So, I guess we know about you. <laughs> How like, is the star form? The movie studio promotes them as if you're an idiot if you don't already know who they are. <laughs> Great. So this is the bridge Wright tried to cross. Pretty reckless, if we you ask me. We talked about this. I I'm, thought, oh. No, I'm amazed you survived the fall from up here. Yeah, he's one lucky guy, sir. Now I see how he manages to win his cases in court. Blind luck. <laughs> I think dumb luck suits right just a bit better. <laughs> Ouch. That's rude. Yeah. Some letters are wildly engraved into a roughly cut boulder. Dusky Bridge. It certainly is an appropriate name. You need to get some glasses, Mr. Edgeworth. That sign says Dusty Bridge. I can see how you read it wrong, though, sir. You're the one who needs glasses, detective. Try reading it one more time. Ah! You're right! It's Dusky Bridge after all! I guess whoever wrote this made a mistake! Wow! <laughs> hey! It's a public phone! You don't see a lot of these anymore! That's true. Since we've got one here, why don't we take a photo as a memento? Well, um, sure. Why not? Oh darn it! I don't have a camera with me. I'm gonna go buy a disposable camera. I'll be right back, sir. What's so special about public phones, and why is he so fascinated by them? Well, there goes Gumshoe, I guess. Oh, wait, he's up there. There's a little shack down that way called Heavenly Hall. A I shack? Thought, I thought that said Heavenly Hell. <laughs> no, <laughs> that, that, is, uh, that is contradictory. <laughs> that's, that's why I thought it's funny. It's like a rundown doghouse for losers that can't bear the freezing drafts of wind. Kind of reminds me of my apartment, sir. The name Heavenly Hall makes it sound like a palace. Given a hovel great name is a crime itself! I'd call it false advertising! By the way, the name of my apartment complex is Compton Castles. That's not such a great name, if you ask me. Well, it's not such a great apartment either, <laughs> sir. <laughs> Darn it, Gumshoe! Every part of your per like personal life is depressing. Well, I guess we'll hit the main gate. February uh, the, 8th. The motor... Not the motorcycle, the- that's Snowmobile. What, that's what Maya called it, now I gotta get it right. <sighs> <laughs> February 8th, Hazakura Temple, main gate. Yo, Edgy, what took you so long? It's so cold, I'm so cold my brain's too disturbing! I knew it was a mistake to race back to this country. Wh what do you mean? Right is going to be fine, and the case itself isn't anything unusual. And I find myself taking a request to defend a woman accused of murder. <laughs> hey, wait a sec! Hold it! OBJECTION! <laughs> What's going on here, Mr. Edgeworth? Um... It's hard to explain, but one thing led to another, and... What kind of lame excuse is that?! You call yourself a defense attorney?! <laughs> prosecutor Edgeworth is a prosecutor! That's why he's Prosecutor Edgeworth! <laughs> prosecutor Edgeworth, defense attorney, just sounds plain a weird pal! <laughs> right, Prosecutor Edgeworth? <sighs> I'm not sure what role I'm supposed to be playing anymore. <laughs> Dude, Edgy, I don't see you for a couple of years! And your heart turns to sherbet! I'd say more like sorbet. It is rather cold here. Iris didn't murder her! Someone else did it! I just know it, okay? So trust me on this one. Ever the romantic, aren't you, Larry? Nevertheless, I'll do whatever I can to prove her innocence. At least until I pass the baton on to Wright, that is. Well, the, uh, Miss Bikini is mysteriously gone. Why are you talking in a bad French accent? I, because I was like, how do I say this without being like, Miss Bikini? Hi. Hi. Man, I'm telling you, Iris is so cute. Right, Edgy? You think so too, don't you? What's wrong? Why are you so quiet? To put it simply, your comment has me highly concerned. Could it be that the reason you think she's innocent? Come on! A girl that cute couldn't possibly be a murderer! <laughs> You've had so many cases. I was right after all. I should never have come back. 
no, no! Don't worry, I see things for how they really are this time! Honest! If I had a penny for every time he said that... It's just that, well, Iris is a delicate flower. You can't force fiends too much, know what I mean? Huh? I have no idea what you're talking about, Larry. Oh. Ah, uh, forget it, I didn't say anything. Okay. Larry, where were you and what were you doing on the night of the crime? Larry? What? Don't tell me! You think I might have done it?! <laughs> what? what Get lost! Go back to your charter jet and get out of the you creep! <laughs> and I hope your plane crashes and you die! <laughs> okay, now, Larry. I'll ask just one more time, on the night of the murder, where were you and what were you doing? Yeah, I wondered if we'd get a psych lock. <laughs> or three. Or three. As I suspected, a psycho lock. See, yeah, we found, so we're right. Oh my, it appears you need to go call the police. Ah, and shoves her on your way. Or shoves you on her way. <laughs> on the way. Shoves and, her on your way. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean. We find Larry like, oh yeah, the bridge is on fire. How about that? He's like just out <laughs> painting after it has, has a flamethrower. Oh, I wonder how that happened. No, I bet you. He is the one who accidentally who absolutely set the bridge on fire. One hundred percent. Even though we have a weather report saying it was definitely <laughs> lightning. <laughs> Somebody could have faked it. Larry just wrote it down and yeah. like, threw it on the ground. <laughs> it could have been. Or even um, Miss Bikini or whatever. She could have just been like... Oh my, how did Cause, that? Because she was the one who was like, I saw everything. And the fact that she saw, oh, the bridge is on fire. Oh, this thing happened. Like, she didn't see she... the bridge was on fire. She told us to go to the bridge and call the phone, sure. and then Phoenix. Sure, but there was, if fire. she was the one who filled out the weather report, that would make no sense. I think Larry absolutely set fire to the bridge. <laughs> oh, all right, Marty's first theory. <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> I'm sorry, man. You know me. I just don't remember. Uh huh. <laughs> my short-term memory is a wreck, dude. Okay, I think Good my job. I think my Larry voice has changed a few times over yeah. over since the first. I think in the first game I gave him fine. an Aladdin voice. <laughs> hey, it's me, Larry Butts. <laughs> well, yeah, yeah, a little bit. But that's kind of fine, because he needs, like, slight character development, since, what is it, he's, like, basically had okay, three so he... people he knows die, one of them being his fault. That's true. One, well, one of them was, like... One well, of them was his ex-girlfriend. Ex-girlfriend, sweetness, there was, um, um... His boss. His boss. And now... And then there was the steel samurai... Not the steel samurai. The, uh... Oh, yeah, I have my headphones in! He didn't then, know that guy! Yeah, but... It was happening right next to him. He's like, yeah. I can't believe I heard a gunshot right next to me. That's weird. <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> Whatever. Come to think of it, when you were a kid, you were always saying, When I grow up, I want to be a lawyer and defend people. Or something like that. That was a long time ago. But see, now you've got the chance to follow your boyhood dream for a day. Edgy, you gotta do it. You gotta save my little Iris. Uh, this is exactly why I hate childhood friends. You don't have any other friends, though, Edgeworth. Edgeworth's... Yeah, Edgeworth's kind of... The loner. Not really the loner, the lone just... Wolf. He likes being by himself, like me. Yeah, but you have friends. Yeah, but I don't have very many friends that I consider, like, super close. Sure, same here, though. I okay. have a lot of friends okay. and people well, that I recognize. You know how, like, people say, like, oh, like, if you were to wake up at, like, 3 a.m. and you, like, really, really needed to talk to somebody, like, who would you call? Oh. Like, I'd be like, I don't think I could call anybody. You don't think so? <laughs> well, but outside of my family. Outside of your family. Uh, for me, I feel like there's two people I could call. Because I literally have a friend who, it doesn't matter what is happening. They're he awake. Always, he will always pick up his phone. No matter what, and I'm like, I you could be showering and he'd still pick up his phone. And I'm like, how? I don't know. But like, I've called like knowing where I've called like a group call. Like, okay, hey, this is I Douglas. Know, What's no, up? I know that like this person's gonna be watching a movie, but like the other person will pick up, and both people will pick up still and be like, hey. I'm like, okay. <laughs> how how are you always picking up your phone or like you're or you'll be like, I'm in the movies. Like, no, he's like your friend who was like, I'm about to go over a Splash Mountain. <laughs> <laughs> that thing, like basically the same. Friend. Oh, okay. Cool. <laughs> hey, I may not look like it, but I'm an artist. I refuse to look at anything that doesn't have a radiant or beautiful motif. He didn't even give it a glance. It's a hanging scroll, though. We literally oh, showed it. Oh, Iris's hood. Oh, come on! I was he sure he was gonna be- I need that hood in my life. 
I still can't believe it. She was such a great person. But someone's pinning this murder on my sweet little Iris. Edgy, please, I'm counting on you. Well, frankly, I was hoping you could give me a little more than that. Uh, well then. I got it! I'll draw you a portrait! How about that? Since you're kind enough to offer, alright. He's like, I'm not gonna draw. <laughs> he was a good guy. A real pal to the end. When I look back now, I have nothing but good memories. What's with the past tense? He's not <laughs> dead, you know. Yeah, you're right. Anyway, the guy owes me. After all, I saved his life. What's that supposed to mean? If I hadn't called for help so quickly, he would have died. It's no surprise, though. I used to be a security guard. It was all instinct, baby. He has a point. He called me pretty quickly, too. I think Larry's pretty good at motivating people. Yeah. I just wish he would try motivating himself once in a while. <laughs> Ouch. I, that, that hurts me hard, because I feel like that's exactly me, where I will be the person, like, you need a go-getter, somebody to, like, cheerlead you on. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> I will be your person. I can get you motivated, but I will not be able to motivate myself. Be like, uh, I need my own. You need a copy of yeah. <laughs> huh? Me? All you have to know is remember not to call me Larry anymore. What? I'm a new person now. I've been reborn as Loris Donum. All right, fine. Let me ask you something else then, Larry. Call me Loris if you don't. Then I'll call you, I'll call you, Millie Stunem. <laughs> <laughs> wow. And then the rest of it goes on forever. I have a feeling that she's hiding something. Well, we have a psych lock already. Could be. After all, she's shy and gets embarrassed pretty easily. I don't think that has anything to do with it. Why not? Look, I know all about this kind of thing. Come on, Edgy. You were a guy once. Lots of girls are like Iris. You know I'm right. Well, you most certainly seem to have convinced yourself. Man, I love shy girls like her. It's it's just so cute. You know what I mean? No, I really don't. Still doesn't listen to others, I see. I guess some people just never change. I mean, I don't know why people like shy people. Like if they're if they're like, "Uh," ah, and like they don't give you You want to know why? Why? Um, I would take a shy person over the people who are super like, "Oh my gosh!" Wah! So in other words, yeah, so you, not me. <laughs> yeah, sorry. No, that's fine. I think it's just more like whenever I see someone who's really shy, I never can tell if they're oh. just shy or if they're not giving anything. Okay, well, here's the thing. There's a, if there's a certain point of shyness where I'm like, okay, if you're literally not going to help me carry the conversation at all, then yeah. Yeah, I have a lot of friends like that. Because yeah. I'm bad at carrying conversations too, but I at least try. Yeah, you, you're fine. Especially now, you're much better, I feel yeah. like. But there are people where I'm like, where people are like, oh my gosh, like, so shy, so cute. I'm like, what about shyness is cute? Like, It's that's, mysterious. I guess it's mysterious, and but... The Bible talks a lot about stuff like that, you know. I know. I'm not exactly, I mean, like, the ideal People accuse the Bible woman. of being sexist, which sure. is highly amusing to me. But. I think it's hilarious, but... <laughs> yeah. Oh, come on, you have nothing to say about Godot. Oh, yeah, he hasn't met Godot. We probably should examine things. Yeah. I suppose this type of thing is necessary up here in the mountains. Say, this just gave me a great idea! Something tells me he's going to tell me what's on his mind, whether I like it or not. I've got an idea for a brand new invention! I'm, it might even make me rich! An invention? Yeah, a car that can travel on snow! I'd call it a snow car! So what do you think, sir? Would you go for a ride and something like that? Only after you take the first 1,000 test rides. That's basically a snow <laughs> it's, it's, <laughs> it's any car with snow tires. tires. This Although those still are hard. Unless it's like 10 foot deep snow. That's what I think he was more like. <laughs> you couldn't drive in that. You couldn't be on the sea. I don't know. This gate looks quite old. Strong enough to resist the weight of time. That's the Mr. Edgeworth I know. You've got a real flair for words, words sir. I've always appreciated the, this kind of old timeless elegance. That's exactly how I feel too. Take this coat, for example. Like a fine wine, it gets better with age. Even fine wine turns to vinegar and it begins to stink at some point. I suggest you wash that atrocious rag you call a coat, detective. 
Yeah, I'd agree. He always We remember things. remember in the flashback case that was tan. That's the same coat. Yeah, I know. <laughs> it's just green and gross. February 8th, Hasakura Temple Main Hall. Oh, now she's sad. <sighs> hey! Hello there! Um, so how are you feeling? Alright, I suppose. Huh? Who is this? I, uh, my name is Miles Edgeworth. Oh my, my, my! A handsome boy such as yourself is always welcome. <sighs> if circumstances weren't so tragic, I might just... Please don't call me boy. I'm, I'm sorry to trouble you, but I'm looking for a woman in a bikini. Well, you have found her! Now what can I do for you? I'm sorry, but I don't see any bikinis. <laughs> if you ask nicely, I might give you a peek, big boy. <laughs> um, Mr. Edgeworth, this is the head nun, Sister Bikini. She's the witness. Why didn't you tell me that <laughs> earlier? This is exactly why your salary keeps on getting cut. Uh, my stomach is already growling in protest. <laughs> so, um, what's the latest about my beloved Iris? Well, first, I want to hear what you know. Well, now she looks serious. Yeah, a bit. <laughs> is her arm bent? No, that's that's the bow. That's such a terrible design. <laughs> I just realized the bow oh. is literally covering her whole arm. Oh, I see what you mean. You're like, wait, does she have like... A, a wrapping <laughs> yeah. on her arm? No, that's no. the bow. Because <laughs> it's the obi. I, yeah, it absolutely looks like that. First, I'd like to ask you about last night. Well, last night, we had an acolyte here for training. After dinner, the two of us went to the training hall in the inner temple. How did you get back? Did you get back early? She must be talking about Maya. Approximately what time was that? I suppose it was nine when we left here. Training lasts all night long. It's extremely exhausting. The channeling dojo's head nun must be in attendance at all times to keep watch. Wow, you're right. That does sound exhausting. Is she the head nun? Yeah. That... There are two nuns here, Bikini and Iris. Yeah, but she's the head nun. Yeah. So that's a problem right there. She uh, wasn't there the whole night. Oh, head yeah. Head nun has to be there the whole night. She was back watching <laughs> she's like, someone die. <laughs> she's so. like, well, my favorite program was on. I can't miss Jeopardy. <laughs> <laughs> you think they get the reception for They TV? get cell reception, They get cell at least. reception, but I, you doubt, I doubt they have, like, she streams good Netflix TV. I'm imagining, on like... LTE. No, you know how they have, like... We had those red wall video tapes. Oh, yeah. It's like... <laughs> that was back that when was we had the was... rabbit ear antennas that you had to yeah, adjust to That's more to get what I'm reception. expecting from yeah. her. Detective, this is no time for flattery. Or television. Sorry. Sometime around 11, you witnessed the incident in the courtyard. But your duty was in the inner temple. Why did you come back here? Hmm. The way you're staring at me, I'm starting to get goosebumps. <laughs> I'm starting to get goosebumps myself, but for a decidedly different reason. Ho oh, ho! You get the chills pretty easily, don't you, Mr. Edgeworth? Alright then, I'd like you to tell me exactly what you saw in the courtyard. I thought it was just be like, be a psych lock immediately appears. Just like... <laughs> 20. <laughs> 20. <laughs> but it only, but it gets broken with one thing. It's just like... Because ah! <laughs> we've had some that were like five and it broke instantaneously. No, we, we had Wendy old bag with four that broke instantly. Oh yeah. But then we had like... Um, I think I can't the, remember his I name. Think the There's old... the one with one that just didn't break, even though we kept like. Uh, Luke at me and Adrian, I think. No, it was the the flippy hair guy. His. You mean Matt on guard? Matt on guard. Yeah. He had five. Not he had one. five, but I'm saying there was like one that we had to put three things down to make it break. Two. Two. Okay. He, the last three of his broke all with the same piece of. That's true. Though. It must have been past eleven. Oh no! I can't say it! It's too much for my poor heart! Hey! Calm down, lady! Let go of my tie! I saw two people. One of them was lying on the ground. The other was stabbing her from the back with a sword! Did you see this criminal with your own eyes? I didn't want to believe what I was seeing, but it was Iris! Yeah, I wouldn't be I surprised. believe it. Yeah, yeah I completely <laughs> believe it. Although, I thought that in the, like, the boom, like, beginning thing where you see someone stabbed, I thought it was, like, the statue. So what I thought it would be is, it's like, there's no real murderer, just when they were training, like, 
think spiritual power energy, like the statue comes to life and is like, <laughs> so it was killed by a statue. That'll go over real <laughs> yeah. well in court. Yeah, but I think it could be something like that where, <laughs> okay, I don't know. Or like, Amife came to life. <laughs> no, I'm thinking like, okay, remember in um, Castle in the Sky when like, no, I haven't seen that. What? Or I've seen part, like half of it. Okay, do you remember any part with a robot? There's a robot. You haven't seen the movie? We have to watch it. It has um. No, the parts I've seen have been kind of lame. It has Mark Hamill in it. Yeah, so does Batman. The way to Laputa has been opened. No, it's such a good movie. Anyway, there's this part where she has this stone and she puts it up to the robot and then like the energy transfers and it's like boom. And then, like, it turns on. It's like, Ugh, and it's like picking up flowers. And well, anyway, it can happen. It could happen. What were you even? Oh, yeah, statues coming to life. For statues coming to life. You must have been quite shocked that the statue came, came to, to life, life. like in Castle in the Sky. <laughs> of course she was. That movie was great. Try putting yourself in her shoes. It'd be like if you were stabbing Mr. Right Smack in the middle of the courtroom, and I happened to witness it from the witness stand. I'd be pretty shocked too. I know it sounds insane, but that's what I saw! And when I finally realized what I was seeing, I screamed, and then I passed out. Unfortunately for us, her testimony seems to be pretty solid. However, the idea of Iris doing such a foul act seems unnatural. No, no not, not really! really. No, not really. I don't think so. <laughs> unnatural? The girl I know simply isn't capable of this sort of foulness. No, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe you don't know the same girl we know. I, she, she seems pretty suspicious. Although I will say, this is the first case that they have gotten pass out correctly. Where it was like, whoa, there's a scream. Let's go find it. And then she's out for like maybe 30 seconds and then they yep. pick her up. Yep. That's the closest we've seen to actually real lose consciousness. Okay, to be fair, Henry VIII was unconscious for I think two hours at one point in a row. And he suffered massive brain damage from it and had a complete personality change as a result. Henry VIII? Yeah. I don't know much about him. I just know he, he had like, six TV. wives and killed two of them, divorced two of them, one died in childbirth. Did one of them beheaded? It goes, uh, divorced, beheaded, died childbirth, divorced, beheaded, alive when he died. He yeah, was, he was not- the last one. I mean, the last one had it better than the other ones, but <laughs> I, I think she'd just be- Like, imagine if it's like, oh, I'm getting married to Henry VIII. It's like, um, didn't his past five wives die? And you're like, you'll be fine. <laughs> he, uh, this time it'll work this out. This time it'll work out. Yeah, I he, he was not a very good dude. Yeah. I wonder what she means by that. I like Henry VIII. <laughs> Why return? As the head nun, it's your duty to stay with the accolade at all times, correct? Yes, that's correct. I know I may look strong, but the truth is I've got a bad lower back. A bad lower back? Yes, it's especially bad in the winter. So bad I can't even lift a bucket. Do you remember how cold it was last night? My bad back felt as stiff as frozen glass. Is that a thing? Frozen like, glass? No, like, oh, I have, like, a weak part of my body and it gets worse during certain seasons. Yeah, yeah. That happens? Absolutely. Okay. Oh, yeah. Okay. I hadn't heard of it much before, so... I just wanted to take a nice hot bath to ease my aching back. That's when I returned to the main hall. So you left the disciple all alone? Don't be ridiculous, I would never do that. That's why I ordered Iris in the, to the inner temple after she had rung the bell for lights out. Yes, but she never went to the inner temple, did she? Did this head not even see Iris? I think I'd better try to get some more details. So who is this acolyte that was to train at the Inner Temple? Her name is Maya Fey. I treated her very badly, I'm ashamed to say. And after she went through the trouble of signing up for the special course... A special course was actually just like a, a, a dinner. Uh, special dinner five course. Five course dinner. Ooh, yeah. Special course? It's a training session where you sit on a block of spiritual ice and chant 30,000 times. You don't mean to tell me she's still doing that over at the Inner Temple, do you? No, 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 of course not! You don't have to worry about that one little bit. Last night, we still hadn't started the training session itself. Well, um, that's good to hear. Oh, dear, dear. That's one thing I forgot to tell you. Uh-oh, I don't think I like the sound of this. Do you know that small girl? I believe she's Mystic My- Oh, yeah! Where is Pearl? We- Is she still missing? Uh... 
Um, okay, um, do you know that small girl? I believe she's Mystic Maya's little sister. Maya has a little sister? Oh, you mean Little Pearl! That's Maya Face cousin. Little Pearl? I thought she was going to visit Mystic like uh, Elise after cleaning up dinner. But I haven't seen her at all since late last night. She's nowhere to be found. Y you mean she... She was with the victim? It's all the fault of my stupid, creaky old back! A, a little girl who was with the victim on the night of the murder is gone. As they say, the plot thickens! Um, let's get a search team party thing happening. Search here's party? My, here's my favorite thing of all. They're like, oh, there's somebody trapped in a temple that has absolutely no heat at all whatsoever. Well, well what, you what you gonna, gonna do? do? <laughs> like, they're like, oh, the wind's too strong to land. Like, can't you be high up and put a rope down and be like, My FA, come out! Grab the rope! Not if the winds are too strong, apparently. Okay, no, but if, if long enough rope. Like, be really the How would you high grab up. the rope if it was that windy? It, okay, we If it's like 60 outside. mile an hour winds. If it's 60 mile an hour winds, Edgeworth can't walk anywhere near the, like, canyon because it'd just be like, Whoosh! <laughs> Edgeworth is made of iron. He's fine. I thought you were gonna say made of steel. Oh! It's a warmed cat box! But where are all the cats? It's called a hibachi. It's for heating the room. And for oh, cooking. look at all these ancient straw frisbees. Those are a type of Zabutan cushions called Enza. Why are you giving me such a hard time? Huh, Mr. Edgeworth? Why? Because learning something new might actually be a good thing for you, detective. Meanwhile, he's just gonna eat the giant Magatama. That thing sure casts a strong presence over the whole room. This is the lesser Magatama. It's a precious heirloom con containing many, a great many souls. Huh? This is lesser? What is the greater one like? The greater Magatama is displayed in the main room of the Fame Manor. Is it? I don't remember Why that. Why did we see that? Nope. It's supposed to be shown at the Treasures of Karain exhibit. But it was so large that they couldn't bring it through the doors. So they like built Continuity. it. Continuity. So they built it and then they built the house around it probably. <laughs> it's an altar with a giant Magatama enshrined on it. There are lots of candles lined up on it, too. You know, I haven't had a birthday party for myself in a while. Aww. Maybe you should blow out those candles over there to make up for that. Mr. Edgeworth, would you mind singing happy birthday to me? <laughs> Stop that! Cut it out! Please don't blow out the altar candles! <laughs> Poor gumshoe! <laughs> There's flowing script written everywhere on the walls. Maybe he and Maggie can celebrate their birthdays together. <laughs> yeah! They're both like the bad luck bunch. <laughs> so, maybe... Yep. Man, I bet you'd have awful nightmares if you tried to sleep in here. This is our main hall, so it's protected by a variety of magical spells and charms. They're all designed to prevent evil forces from entering. So if I slept here, the, uh, the Uggy Woogie Boogie Man wouldn't hunt me down for eternity? All right! Does this guy think about anything other than eating and sleeping? Eh, gotcha. Understand. There are more Enza cushions in the corner of the room. What's that white piece of paper sticking out from under the stack? Oh, I didn't even notice mm, it. Beats me. I thought it was a tag. <laughs> like... <laughs> Would you mind checking that out for me, Detective Gumshoe? Y yes, sir! It's probably like Pearl, like, out to lunch! <laughs> <laughs> In case of fire, call 911. <laughs> <laughs> Here you are, Mr. Edgeworth. It looks like an old manila envelope. Yeah! What is it, Detective? Th this This could be it! An ultra-important clue! A super special clue! I suppose I should read it myself, then. It looks like a letter addressed to Sister Iris. Great. Tonight at 10 at Heavenly Hall, unless you want your secret to be exposed. Wow! This is <laughs> so familiar! This sounds like a blackmail letter. It's so not like we have one of those in every case. <laughs> no, but every single time it's like, Come here, if you don't want to die! <laughs> or if you don't want your secret <laughs> in orange <laughs> letters. <laughs> nice going there, Mr. Edgeworth. Why can't I ever find clues like that? You're an ultra-important prosecutor! A super-duper prosecutor! Well, I suppose it takes a super-duper kind of dumb to miss a clue like this. No, it was me. I missed it. <laughs> I just- I thought- You're also okay, not a prosecutor. I'm not. But, okay, when I was looking over there, I was like, Oh, it looks like a tag, like, from yeah, the store I, I get that. on the cushion. Because our pillows, mm -hmm. our mom still hasn't cut off some of the tags from them. 
Note to Iris. Found in the main hall. Maybe she dropped it. To Iris of Hazakura Temple. Salutation here. Salutations. <laughs> There's something I must talk to you about. I'll be waiting for you tonight at 10 at Heavenly Hall. Make sure you come unless you want your secret to be exposed. Her sister just comes back from the dead. Ooh! And like, what? Comes by. <laughs> <laughs> Who else would it be? She's killed everyone else. Or if her parents still exist, then like, who are they? <laughs> They obviously don't care since she was on trial, and they're like, who cares? It couldn't be her sister, though. She's dead. <laughs> Maybe somebody channeled her. And then they're like... <laughs> and then they wrote the manila envelope. <laughs> yeah, but that would be weird. Maya. Maya. Pearl Faye. Currently missing. Oh, hey, Bikini. Did you know I'm kind of a lawyer, but not really, but also a prosecutor? Um, about this here. Hmm, let me see. Well, as you may know, in order to see reality for what it truly is, we strive to break out our attachments to much of the tra transient material realm. I guess you could call me an Im immaterial girl. <laughs> I, I guess she lives in an immaterial world, huh, Mr. Hedger? <laughs> <laughs> wow. Put the Magatama. That's... That's one of the fake land's very own Magatamas! That's a priceless treasure you've got there. Wow! I'm impressed, sir! You never failed to surprise me! Yes, you don't look it, but now I can see you're a real fan of the occult! Excuse me? Oh, of course this piece couldn't possibly be real, but we have to have such a nice replica. Clearly, you are a big fan of the Korean tradition! W wow I'm impressed, sir! You never failed to surprise me! I should have known better than to show this thing around. Huh? Ah! Well, 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 look what you found! That's the master of the Korean channeling technique, Mystic Mu- Misty- F Mystic Misty Fay. That's a terrible way to say that. Fay. It's been nearly 20 years since Mystic Misty's disappearance. Apparently, she intended to pass on the master title to her daughter. Who is this daughter? Well, I myself am part of the branch family of the Fay clan. A branch family. Of Mor a branch family. She's not related to Morgan. <laughs> no. Okay. But even I am not... Pivy? Privy. Privy. Privy to the information concerning the main family. Well, you should know, because she literally stopped by, and she looks exactly like her mom. <laughs> not really. They look pretty similar. Okay, they both have not the exact same outfit. Their hair is done the same. Okay, one I'm looks really elegant, and one looks like a monkey. <laughs> Ouch! Sorry, Maya. <laughs> no. Well. You're no. I meant Misty Faye looks like a monkey. No, <laughs> that's not bad. She just looks like a monkey when she's mad. She's like, mm, oh, and she's the like her cheeks. cheeks. Yeah. <laughs> well, well, well. That's a demon warding hood. Acolytes are highly susceptible to possession by evil spirits, you know. That's why we always wear these for protection. Oh, I see. Is that why nuns wear them too? In no. Life? I why don't do they wear them? Um, I think old Bible verses about covering head your covering. head. Head covering. Yeah. It's like, not the hijab, that's Islam, but mm -hmm. like, the, uh... I always wondered that. What's the Jewish hat? The yarmulke. Oh. I, okay. Maybe it's like that, but for women, I don't know. I don't know. It always... Or maybe they're just, it, they're rocking the look. I <laughs> guess. It just always interested me, because I know, like, um... I mean, the most nun culture I have is Sound of Music, basically. And they all wear, <laughs> they all wear like, the hoods. The bad habits. There's none meaner. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> That's not Sound of Music. Oh, all right. <laughs> what was that from? I made it up. Oh, that's good. I just wanted two bad nun puns in one. Wow, okay. What are you waiting for? You won't get any protection just by holding it, you know. Put it on already! Oh, I wish we had a No, I, I can't. I was just... <laughs> oh, it's like it was made just for you, Mr. Edgeworth. What do you mean by that, Detective? It looks absolutely marvelous. You've just got to keep it on for a while. Is this some sort of divine retribution? <laughs> poor Edgeworth. Not poor Edgeworth. Wear the hat proud. About this picture... Well, look at that! I look pretty to, to exceed, don't you think? <laughs> I'm not going to 
Come on! S to the X C. Yeah, come on! Like, I didn't say it right. I look pretty the S, S to, to the, the X C, don't you think? Uh, uh, yeah, absolutely. Up until recently, we avoided exposure in such magazines. But this time, we had our reasons. Is that so? For example- <laughs> Well, why deny the world the sight of such a lovely face? Is wow. that why? <laughs> Apparently. Oh. How could such a terrible thing have happened? It's all... It's all... It's all my fault! Why? Well, come on, lady. I don't think you need to take all the blame yourself. Quiet! What do you know, anyway? Ouch! You're scary! With that stupid five o'clock shadow and that stupid old coat of yours. It's too bad you weren't the one that disappeared. What? Jeez, Bikini! Don't say that! Ouch. Why did she have to take it all out on me? Her anger does seem a little... manufactured. Maybe? Well, no, that would make no sense. But... Do you, do you know anything about this old crumpled up letter? Is that addressed to Iris? Yup, it clearly says to Iris on it. I can't believe it. That girl doesn't have any secrets from me. Ah, so Sister Bikini didn't know anything about it. <laughs> this man, his face betrays a life of suffering and great weariness of the world. Um, sure. But even so, I can't believe this guy actually jumped into the river! Think of all the fun things he might have enjoyed if he had just lived. Relentless spiritual training alone is no way to lead a complete life, huh? It sounds like she's got some major regrets she's dealing with. Hmm, perhaps I should let Gumshoe explain Wright's situation to her for me? Hey! Don't look at me like that! Do your own dirty work, sir! <laughs> and well, nobody told and nobody her. said anything. Um, about me? <laughs> nope. <laughs> Nothing to say about that. Okay. This is Mystic Elise's apprentice, is it not? I think he might have a bit of a crush on me. Sweet boy, at any rate. Uh-huh. Oh, I don't blame him. Sister Bikini understands the temptations of young men. <laughs> sure. <laughs> but I'm afraid it wouldn't be proper to abuse my position. I am head nun, after all. <laughs> You're a head nun. There's a lot of reasons why not. Um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but in return, I did allow him to draw a pit portrait of me. I pray it was a pose that maintained your modesty for everyone's sake. Oh, wait. Nope, we already showed her the photo. Oh! <laughs> now she gets to say, I wish Gumshoe had died again. <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> Sorry, Gumshoe. Ugh. Tell me about Iris. You said you went with Maya to the training hall in the Inner Temple last night. Did you happen to see Iris while you were there? Of course I saw her. I told her to meet us after ringing the ten o'clock bell for lights out. So you're saying Iris came to the Inner Temple then? Of course she did. Iris has always been a good, obedient girl. I thought again a Psycloc would just appear like... <laughs> 20. <laughs> Not 20. <laughs> after that, I had Maya begin her training ceremony. That would be hilarious if they had a randomizer for this. For that many... wouldn't work! <laughs> but that would be funny. That literally couldn't work. I know. But that <sighs> doesn't fit with Iris's story at all. She said that she never went to the Inner Temple. But yet... As they say, the plot thickens. Well... There's no way she said, knows anything about What are those lying? It's all my fault. Me and my stupid back. Mystic Elise had been murdered. An important acolyte is trapped. The little girl's been lost. You know, you really shouldn't be so negative. It creates bad karma. Yeah, how about you do something? Quite right, I need to do some more training myself, I think. Is this like... My voice for her is basically like if Morgan spoke up. <laughs> That's basically. Oh, hello. Mm, indeed, it seems that it's been such a cruel tale. That's like basically oh, yeah, that's... her voice. <laughs> but it's, but it's all little, that paint. <laughs> all that paint makes it lower. <laughs> I don't think she drinks paint. She so. drinks candles. Oh yeah. She's a very important visitor, you know, an honored acolyte. Honored? How so? The Fae name is... Synonymous. 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 Thank you. Wow. That's a really hard word to say now that I think about it. Okay. The Fae name is synonymous. 
with the crane channeling technique. Okay. Therefore, she must be a spiritual medium, a spirit medium of great power indeed. Now that you mention it, one year ago, there was a case that was set about the master of the crane channeling technique. Detective, I detest talk of supernatural drivel. I suppose now you'll say she has midichlorians. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so it gives you the creeps, huh, Mr. Edgeworth? That's got nothing to do with it. Still can't believe people make such a big deal about the midichlorian scene. I had no problem with it. <laughs> I don't even remember it. Uh, <laughs> oh, this poor girl, where could she have gone? Well, we checked out her home and she's not there. Um, her home's two hours away. By train. By train. She can Actually, run. it could be more. <laughs> she can she's run. She's nowhere in the vicinity of the temple either. Which means there's only a few other possibilities as to where she could be. Ah! Do you think maybe she fell off the bridge and was carried downstream? Why do you have to be such a pessimist, detective? Ugh. I was just trying to think like you, Mr. Edgeworth. Ironic, I became a pessimist only after I had the pleasure of working with you. <laughs> Ouch. No comment from her, though. Well, that's where we're going to end the episode today. Really? Ah. Um, would you, do you know how long we've been recording? I'm guessing Probably. it's over almost an hour. Yeah, almost an hour. Okay. Thanks for watching, everyone. Sorry we couldn't keep it around a half hour this point time. Tune in next time. We'll actually explore the crime scene. Cool. So, look forward to that. Until we meet again, my friends, have a great day and God bless.